Good, I got a signal. All right. Yeah. Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ray Dolan from Mullingar in Mullingar in a secret isolation area with uh, Noel, who's after bringing me to the beehive here. And that's our good friend, Noel Kelly, who collected all the bees in Mullingar there recently. Noel, are these the same bees from Mullingar? No, they're not. No, these are, this is a swarm of bees that I caught here myself. Oh, right. In, in, and it's actually one of my own, uh, it's one of my own swarms that I caught. How did you, how do you catch a swarm of bees? Well, you catch it the way we caught it the other night, or yeah. you put out a bait hive, and you you hope the bees go into it. Okay. Right. So what have we got here? Will you give us a, a little run through? Right. We have. Um, I didn't catch these in this hive. Okay. I caught them in a timber hive that's down the ground. It's an old timber hive, mm -hmm. and I put it here. So the bees, when they're going to swarm, have a look around about for a likely place to go and live. So they're looking to expand. Right. So. They're looking for a place to live, to find my beehive, hopefully, and they decide that that's where they're going to move into. So when the swarm, the scout bees come here, lead the others in and they set up home. Now, the set up home in the timber hive, I had two frames of, with a little bit of honey on it and there, and that uh, led them into it. Okay. By the time I got to them, there was a little bit of comb drawn down there, so I had to take it away and clean it up, and then I put them in this polystyrene nook. Because this, this is the one that you sort of started off with That's slightly the one I here. Off with, yeah. yeah. Okay, this is the wooden one. Right. Yeah. So I put them into this one. Okay. And um, started to uh, started uh, started to get them uh, used to this here. So I'm hoping that they're laying in it at this stage. And when they are, I'm going to move them. I'm just seeing bits of pollen coming in on these, so. That's a very, very uh, good thing. We'll just watch this, them that's the front door. Yeah, this is the front door. So if you watch them, you'll see the bees coming in with uh, yellow and maybe a little bit of white on their, on their legs. No, yeah, there's that white in that no, well, there. on the doorway, isn't there? No, you see it oh, on his yeah, legs? Oh yeah, wow. No. Brilliant. Right? Good man. So that's, uh, I just stopped you for that. So this is a nook anyway, a standard nook. So I am a lid on the top of it. Right. And then here I have a feeder. I like to keep a feeder on, you can use it or not. So I have one side for solid and one side for liquid. I in general don't feed them liquid. Um, mm -hmm. And the reason I don't is because they turn it into honey. Okay. Right. So that's the, f the top end of the hive. Now just nice and gently, we lift this up. Hopefully they're not too. Are we going to get honey now? No. Okay. We'll have a look and see. We'll have a look and see what they're doing. No, As you can see, folks, we're all dressed up and ready for action. Let's hope we don't get any. <laughs> Let's hope it's right. Right, I'm going to take out the centre. You're taking out the bees. Wow. Now there's bees all on that, and they're working on it. What are they doing there now? Are they putting in honey? They're, they're bringing, in... bringing in nectar. Right. Into That's this. Off and the legs ready there that for we've nectar. seen. Yeah. So they're getting bringing this in, getting ready to. Um, make honey in it. Mm -hmm. now, honey. They're, they're fairly versatile, so we can put this one in. So that's an old frame that I took out and last year extracted honey. Oh, no, it's actually one I took out this year. I have an X on it, it was marked. Um, and put back into this one. So you can hear the bees there getting a little bit Yeah, the volume's up slightly yeah. there, isn't it? Now if we look at this, this was a sheet of flat wax. Right. And they're starting to draw. You can see them starting to do a little bit of drawing on it here. I'll just get that one back in. See, you hear the volume going up there a little That's bit. right, they're after telling the, right. the less the so, lads were here, isn't that right? So, what they're doing is uh, they're just making their, their objections known. Okay. And I'm just going to give them. Today is not a great day for beekeeping because it's a little bit cloudy. Um, might be a little bit of thunder around about, and that's what I just don't like that. Not good weather for it. So, wh where are we now? What's now, this so part of the hive? We're taking off the honey box or the super off the top of it, where to do the honey. And now we're coming down into the brood. So, this piece here is a queen excluder. So, it stops the queen from coming from the brood up into the honey and stops her from laying eggs where we want to collect the honey out of. Oh, so, nice so the gentle. queen is down there somewhere. The queen is down there somewhere. The big thing is to make sure she's not on the bottom of this when you take it off. No. Because she's the boss, like you don't really need to lose her. And some say she's the boss and some say she's not. Well, she's a, she connects up the whole lot, isn't that? What does the queen bee do? The queen bee lays eggs. Okay. Now, and 
you can look at it two, a couple of ways. Without it, the hive won't, won't live. This is a new frame I put in, you can see them starting to draw. We might see the queen, we might not. Brilliant. No, she's not had that. So I tell us the importance here. of a bee. Simple as that. What, why, why is a bee so important? Well, we're pollinating a huge amount of our food. Without yeah. it, we wouldn't have the seeds we say to grow for next year. Um, no, I just wanted to get rid of that and make myself a little bit of room here. So now, this is a drawing frame. You can see them starting Ooh, to draw wow. down. But that comb was only drawn down the last two days. Oh. Right, you can see all the They made the them things. They made those. Oh. This is a drawing frame. Amazing. This is one I made up earlier in the, in the year. You can see the, see the new comb on it, David. Now, I'm not going to do too much looking for yeah. a queen here. If she shows herself well and good, if she doesn't... But basically, the queen, like we all think it's the queen, and she's the queen is laying, and if she stops laying, they'll get rid of her. Mm -hmm. Now, oh wow, now you see how full that is of bees. God, bro. Right? Look at that, lads. Right. And if you look at it here, yeah. you'll see these caps, right? You see the middle of it, see the caps on it, yeah. And I'm going to rest this here now so you can get a shot of it, right. I'll just show you. If you look in I'll here... turn around here. Turn, well, no, I won't turn around the camera. Yeah, if you look in here now, if you can get really in there, you'll see a little thing like a grub in there. Yeah. Right? And that's the young bee starting. Now, I have my glasses on me just a minute, but if you look around about the edge here, you'll see, and I don't think you'll see it with the camera, you'll see the eggs. Okay. And the eggs are very, very small. I need my glasses to see them. I used to be mm -hmm. able to see them though. They're very, very small. And you may just, uh, you may just see them. So there's a frame with a brood with cat brood, larvae and eggs round about it. Amazing. And we're lucky enough because they're quite happy here at the yeah, moment. They're, they're nice bees. Yeah. Now and you can see again it's on this side. God above. That's amazing. Now we just nice and gently we put them back in. And the whole thing is to be nice and gentle with nice smooth movements. Try not to squash bees. Mm -hmm. You kill bees when you're at this, look, unfortunately, now and then yeah, you yeah. might catch a bee. Uh, you do your best not to. Uh, I think that anyone who says they never killed a bee and they're a beekeeper is a liar. But <laughs> um, we try our best. We try our best. No. And there we have it again. The volume seems to be going up of, now. Yeah, yeah. See it all there again. A lot of larvae in here. Mm -hmm. In there in the middle of that. Now I'm not seeing a queen. So guys, are you enjoying this? Everyone looking in. A few messages there. I can't sort of go through the messages because I've got gloves on. Yeah. Now. What do you think, lads? There are three different types of bees in a hive, right? Okay. You have your worker bee, which is most of what you see there. Right. Let me see if I can change around this camera. I can. Brilliant. Right. So the worker bee is the most of what you can see there. Mm hmm. Then you have the queen bee, which we can't see. She's there somewhere. She's laying eggs and laying all of those. Now, if you look in here, you'll see larvae. And wow. just move over there, bee. Right? But this cell here and this one are bigger than the others. Right. So that's where your third type of bee comes into play, and that's your drone. Okay. So that's your male bee. What does a male bee do? It mates with the queen, and that's about it. We're lucky. Um, other than the deer, they don't really do anything else. Now I'm going to close these back up. So I'm going to put that back in here. Nice and gently again. And again, we don't want to squash bees. I haven't seen the queen, so I have to be extra careful here because I don't know where she is. And it's the one bee of the whole lot that you don't want to damage. If you damage the queen, that's it. The hive is just about finished. Okay. Unless, of course, you're lucky enough to be able to introduce a new queen, which we can do from time to time. Now, there's a brood frame all back in. Now, I'm going to use a little bit of smoke here just to get the bees to go down so that they're not squashing them. Yeah, we got a lot of noise now going on here. Yeah. And they're all around you. <laughs> yeah. Now, you see that? Mm -hmm. Nice and Gentle there, come over there. Now, right, and we're going to, next we're going to put back on a super onto it. 
Yeah, the volume's gone down slightly now. Nice then they must again. think that the roof's going back on the house. And on with the feeder. Come on, bees. Come on. And the roof on, and I have more bees out. And you can see them here in the top of the feeder. Right, so how are they doing there? Like just they're just out? up there, and they're just they're just up there. Yeah. They're probably looking for a bit of syrup. Put syrup in here, they went under this wall ah. and there it is. And this wall has had a slope to get them back up. And, and there's a solid bag of food here that they can get. Brilliant. No, these are polyvalent hides and you have to have them tied down. If you don't, the wind will take the lid off. Oh and yeah. If you in trouble before you know where that. So the best of the lid is scrap. Oh. Just a little. Super job. And there, our hive closed up again. Excellent. So we can see the bees all coming back there. Now, mm -hmm. the same as what we done the other day when we had them in, in College Hill. Do you see the bees here with the bums stuck up in the air? Yeah. And they're flapping their wings. Yeah. Or fanning their wings. They're giving off a pheromone, right? or a scent, and they're calling the other bees in because we're after disturbing the hive. Okay. So some bees that came out the top, they're being called in there. Ah, right. Right, so you can see them, see the booms stuck up in the air. Clean her up again, yeah. Right? Now, all of those bees that we see there are female. I haven't seen any drones in there, and I don't expect it because it's a swarm. Right. Well, look, thanks a million for uh, showing us once again uh, Another introduction to um, the bees once again, Noel, you're a legend. Yeah. Tell us, um, so we're in a, a secret isolation, a secret area here. I said there's no use giving it away because uh, I think it wouldn't be right. But uh, we're delighted to have the opportunity of, uh, of chatting to you here in the wilderness. <laughs> and as you can see, I've got a brand new hat on me, folks. Got the gloves on. We're well protected. <laughs> we have uh, something covering the shoes as well. And... Uh, and quite actually, I don't really, I don't feel uh, scared or yeah, anything like no, that. And there's no, you know? they're not buzzing around us. They're not, they're not and as angry. I said, the volume seems to rise when they get uh, the hump, as I say. Yeah. We're going to go in now into where the main apiary is here. Right. Um, and I have honey on it to take off. Right. So I'm going to take off a couple of supers of honey. I put clearing boards on them here the other day. Is that far away? No, it's only here beside us. Okay. Whereas, We'll drive in, well I'll drive in, you'll walk. Well look, we're going to we're <laughs> going to knock off here folks and then we're going to come back to you probably in a few minutes if you want to check it out with myself and Noel um, out in the countryside checking out the bees, okay? On the shores of Loch Ennell, we won't go, yeah. right the shores of Loch Ennell you couldn't find a nicer place, not too far from... Not too far from Loch Ennell, the Loch lake. Ennell. <laughs> <laughs> I've been chatting a while. <laughs>